What is up, everybody? Great to see you. Welcome back to the VOD channel. If you're wondering where I've been, uh, I was sick for a couple weeks, and I'm going to be real with you guys. Some things have happened with my eyes and my vision ever since I got sick. I've been having tons of issues with uh, light sensitivity, and uh, my astigmatism has been going wild, and it has been not the greatest thing in the world. Pretty scary. Um... But I'm here, right? And I am alive, and that is important. So I'm here to bring you guys some reaction content to some MTV's Ghosted. It's been uh, it's been weeks, and uh, you guys deserve a good video. As you can see, I got my best work back there today with the ghost on the back uh, the backboard. But you know what? It's not terrible. It's not. It's it's. I feel like you know the arms are a little off kilter, but. You know, it does look like a very huggable and lovable ghost, and that's always good. As always, if you guys don't mind liking the video at any point, if you think the video is worth a like. I'm not telling you you have to do it right now, um, but you guys have always been crushing that, so thank you. And uh, always leave a comment in the, on this video, because at the end of the video, I'm going to do my shout-out of the week with my spin wheel here. I'll put it in the background. I'm going to spin this sucker, and... Uh, Give you guys a shout out, one of you guys. And who doesn't love shout outs, right? Come on. So, uh, all you have to do to be added, handwritten into this wheel is comment something on the video um, at any point. And if you're new, subscribe. Love to have you here. We hit 12,000 subscribers uh, within the last week. So, thank you guys so much for that. And without further ado, I'll stop yapping. We're going to watch this. I do, once again, pause a lot. I got a soundboard here. Bruh. Okay, so get used to it. It's going to be fun, I promise. The title of this episode is This Dude Ghosted His Girlfriend, Then Lied About. Why? So, let's find out what's going on here. It's a 21-minute episode, so I'll just do one of these today, and then uh, if you guys still like these ghosted reactions, I'll just do another one. All right, here we go, everybody. Once again, thank you for being here. Thanks for being patient with me. Um... I had upper respiratory uh, infection, which sucked. And then once again, now my eyes, everything is so bright. And it's pretty scary at night. Headlights are just like, like the world is ending. Um, so I'm sure I'll get it figured out. Until then, let's watch some Ghosted, shall we? Here we go. This is MTV's Ghosted. My name is Mariah, and I have a situation in which I think you two can help me out with. Mm. So I was dating this guy named James for almost a year. We this started voice off with T-Mills. Then we became friends, but we decided to take things more seriously. And then I'm a very quick start. Okay, one thing I've learned: if you start off dating your coworker, it usually doesn't end well. Okay, my dad always told me never date a coworker, and I'll tell you what. It makes things so complicated. It's and when things are great, oh, it's amazing. This is the best thing ever. But wow, when things hit the fan, it does not go well, and it is so awkward. Nowhere he disappears. No explanation. Rachel and no T reason, Mills. No nothing. That's already a big no no, Rachel. What? Which part? You don't date coworkers. Exactly, T Mills. Okay, look, she just called us, so I'm gonna add her in right now. Okay? See me and T Mills okay. on the same page. Rachel, looking good. Hey. Hi, right there's Mariah. Hi, I always love it. The haunted. Okay, you know, considering everything going on in the world right now. <laughs> I'm guessing all, this is the COVID times. Together? So, summer of 2017. I was living in Virginia Beach at the time, um, and I started working at the Cheesecake Factory. I'll tell you what, Cheesecake Factory, by the way, one of my favorite places. The only thing I don't like about Cheesecake Factory, though, is the size of the menu, if you've ever been there. It's like you're getting handed like a, a textbook from school. It's like 19 pages. And if you're craving pasta, guess what? They got you, but they'll give you 85 options. It's almost too many options. Sometimes I realize I don't want a lot of options because then my brain can be like, okay, they have three pastas. I want this pasta. If there's 17 different cheesy pastas, I have no idea what to do. I panic and then I end up getting a pizza or something. So, you know, it's a little too much. You know, I think we just, you know, started off as co-workers. The eyebrows on fleek. As time progressed, I, uh, our connection just I will never say on fleek again, I'm sorry. It looked like a happy time, couple here. I was in a relationship with somebody. Oh. It was uh -oh. not a good relationship. I entertained it longer than I should have. It was a little hectic, um, you know. 
when did that end? Okay, so uh, my my guess here is things were uh, maybe going on behind the scenes while she was still with somebody, which, you know, is one thing about coworkers that can be a little scary when you date somebody that's working somewhere. You know, there's always, there's always a possibility somebody could try to swoop in. And then when did James begin? Was there a lot of dating overlap? anxiety, which is why I've been single for so, a very lie, long time. There was a little overlap. Should have been Knew it. honestly done way before even meeting James, but it was definitely James that came to me and was like, She's so honest. If this is going to be a thing. That can't be a thing. And then how long are you dating before the actual ghosting? My birthday's in January. So I remember James and I started really hooking up January 2019. So then it was up until December. So yeah, almost a year. A Whoa. year is a long time. Okay. I it was a bond that was, you know, unbreakable. So we, they were talking for a year. Conversations about even and together for together. a year. All right. So tell us about the ghosting. So every, was, every time. They set it up like, tell us about the ghosting. I always just feel like they're going to go into like a ghost hunters like story where it's like, you know, it was like an 1800s Victorian home and it was about 1.30 in the morning and I had a candle and it started dripping. I looked behind me and I saw a ghost, a figure. And then I realized that this is just a show about dating. But, uh, you know, I feel like there's going to be like a Sam and Colby reference. It was December 2019. He had come over after work. I remember we were sitting there on the couch, you know, watching TV, normal night, you know, cuddled up. Um, and he had leaned over to me and was like, yeah, actually, I'm going to go home. Uh -oh. So we both worked the next morning. I ended up going into work. Um, however, James was not there. I'm thinking, oh, maybe he just overslept. He ghosted you know, work too, like wow. An hour or so into the shift, I had realized he had called out. So now I'm like, okay, I'm thinking something is really, really wrong. So I send him a couple more texts, you know, trying to figure out what's Wake going up, on. Sleepy. No response, no nothing. I text him again. However, the messages now aren't delivering. Oh boy. And then honestly, I up... just a terrible feeling. It's just a terrible feeling when you get blocked by somebody and your text goes from blue to green. It just, it's just so embarrassing because you're like, first of all, you're like, excuse me. Okay, really? And then it's just, it's, you feel like an, an idiot. You feel like a moron. I, I got blocked once um, by a girl that I was dating at, at the time. We broke up. Everything was fine. And then until it wasn't, until she just blocked me out of nowhere. And I just remember feeling super embarrassed. I was like, oh, this is so embarrassing. Like, why would you do that? Like, uh trying to go on Instagram to message him. Nothing. I was blocked on Instagram. Oh, no. I couldn't get in contact with him. Then didn't show up for the rest of the week. And then he ended up quitting. And so wow. I don't know what happened. I really Whoa. Don't. He quit the job. Whoa. Work. Okay. That's a, and that's, will, a, that's kind of we'll crazy. You know what we find out. And if we have any questions, we'll definitely hit he you He ghosted up. her and yeah, Cheesecake no, Factory. Thank you so much. Okay. We don't have a lot to go with, Travis. So our timeline. Mariah and James become friends in 2017. Okay. 2017, Mariah and James become friends while working together. Okay. Together at Cheesecake Factory. Over time, the two of them grow closer. All while Mariah is so, dating someone else. At least for then, two years. In January of 2019, they, they were just friends. More than friends. James gives her an ultimatum. He says, cut things off with your boyfriend. She's like, damn, I really have feelings for James. So she breaks it off, starts dating James. They date until December of 2019. Date for 11 months. Which is when she gets ghosted. Let's look at this guy's Instagram. Maybe he's Notre Nostradamus. Maybe he knew the pandemic was about to start. Who knows? Okay, here's the Instagram here. I like how they blur all the faces. <laughs> Just a random kid playing soccer. Looks like a Coles ad. He's got the uh, he's got the chains though. Some they're like almost like bike chains. He's got some pretty big chains there. AKA the rapper. Two chains. That sucks for the editor for this. He had to go through and literally blur so many faces. But what happened with this kid right here? Did that kid specifically write into the show and be like, no, no, no. I want my moment in the sun, okay? You can block everybody's face out but mine. I'm the real star here. He doesn't really post that More much. blurred faces. So we really have oh. nothing to go off of. Let's message him. Hey, James. Travis and Rachel. Hey James, it's T Mills. And like, what the chat. hell do you want, T Mills? Let us know if you're available. I don't know who like would anyone ever respond to that? Like I don't know how these people respond to that. 
if somebody messaged me that, even if something like this happened, I would never respond back and be like, yeah, can't, I'm definitely down to be on the show. Or, yeah, I would love to be on a show about why I ghosted somebody. <laughs> like, no way, bro, no way. All right, sense. Ghost the so ghost. Here's my first theory. She got ghosted in December. The hosted. Instead of the ghosted, they're the hosted. Promise. Get it? Because they're the host. Okay. Christmas was coming up, and then a birthday right okay. after January T-Mill's theory is a silly one. T-Mill's theory is that James didn't want to buy gifts because it was around the holidays. I feel like that is not the answer, T-Mill's, because he quit his job. So that wouldn't add up at all because then he started making no money. He's cheap. So he's cheap. Double the gifts. This dude, he was stressed out. I actually he like buying gifts for Christmas. It's so a, an enjoyable off. experience for me. Rachel. Another theory. The ex. Me and Rachel on the you same page. Her ex in there. Okay. Yeah, I was saying the same thing. You know, it could be a situation where the ex reaches out to James in private. I don't think that's like, it either. Yo, I'm gonna come down there because you stole my girl from me and she cheated on me with you. He ghosts. I think that that might that be. Could be a little a more thing. logical We've than not wanting to buy Christmas friends. gifts. Okay, here's Deja. Hey, Deja, it's Travis and Rachel. We're doing a show with MTV about ghosting, and your name got brought up. We'd love to chat once again. I'd be like, hell no. Oh hell no. You find somebody else, T Mills. Of Mariah and James from work. Deja. Deja vu. And Lizzie. I sent her the link. Great. Lizzie McGuire. In hopes of finding some answers. Lizzie is typing. Did he say Glizzy? Whoa. That's oh, she said, yeah, totally. I'm a huge fan of the show. End of you, Travis. Wow, look at Travis wow. getting that clout, man. That's why they have T Mills reach out. But yes, I can chat for uh, now for a minute. Huge okay. fan of the show. End of you, Travis. T Mills. Uh, okay, Travis. Chat out for a minute. Do you want to go freshen up a bit before we, we give her Where's the, the respect to Rachel? Hey, we I'm need good. love for I'm Rachel. Good to go. You know? Um... <laughs> She got the Tostitos in the Thank side. You, Great Lizzie. chip. Meet us here. What's up, Deja? Wow. I'll tell you what, real quick for Deja. How are you? How are you? Hi, Deja. I'm doing good. Hi. Hey, y'all. All right, got, so there's a cheesecake co worker. person joining the Zoom. We got Elizabeth. Elizabeth? Uh oh. Hi. Hey, boo. <laughs> Was it surprising for you guys to find out that he just ghosted Mariah? Oh yeah, hello. Have you you seen Mariah, right? Okay. okay. Yeah. So I think very surprising that he ghosted her because she's obviously beautiful. I love her as a person. They ever fight? Okay, now let me say this. I don't think that's a good take though, to be like, I can't believe he ghosted this person because they're good looking, right? Because any everybody gets cheated on. It doesn't matter if you're whatever your looks are, I feel like that's all subjective. It's like that's usually not a reason why or why not someone is ghosted like it doesn't you know it's not like hey you're good looking you will never have any problems ever in your relationship nobody will ever ghost you or leave you you know in front of y'all they're just being a good friend no. but you know what i mean like i've never really seen james in a um angry kind of manner like right. really. yeah yeah yeah, yeah. T Mills. Uh, anyone else that we should talk to Mills just randomly getting up what happened there no I've never really seen James in a um, angry kind of manner. He like, was just leaving. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you have anyone else that we should talk to that might have an insight into this situation? Um, there's this girl, Jess. Have you guys talked to her? No. Did Jess work at Cheesecake Factory as well? Yes. She yes. has a baker. Um, and she a baker. has worked there for a while. I feel like Jess knows him longer. Okay. Well, ladies, okay, Jess might so be the catalyst. I mean, look, I think that we got a new name out of that as well. Also, right? I mean, when yeah. I go, when I think of a baker, I just think of that like very corny middle school joke that when I first heard it, it was the funniest thing ever. Like there's certain jokes like, um, you know, is your dad a baker? Because you got a nice set of buns. When I first heard that, I was like, <laughs> that's the funniest thing I've ever heard. I remember um, specifically when I heard the... I'm on a seafood diet. Now I remember being like, oh yeah, that's cool. I like crab. I like like shrimp. And they're like, yeah, I see food and I eat it. I laughed like this, like a live audience. But I was eight years old. I've heard that joke about 64,000 times since then. And it really has never hit since. But the first time you hear one of those corny jokes, it does land. You know what I'm saying? 
talk to this girl, Jess. Her, she, right. She's a baker, Jess, Jess the baker. Us. Jess joined very quick. Right, let me send her our Zoom link. I do not know how they get it so fast. Boom. Within seconds. You know crazy though. James saw our message. Yes. Yes. Didn't bother responding. James ghosting them. He knows that we're looking for him. Hello. All right, What's there's up, Jess, Jess, the how baker. How are you? Good, how are you? Doing well. So, we need to find you on Instagram from Deja and Lizzie. I guess we're just a little stuck in trying to figure out because you all seem to be mutual friends and run within the same circle, but nobody- What kind of animal is that besides Mr. T Mills here? Right here, what is that? I'll tell you what, I couldn't tell you. It's like a pig mixed with an elephant mixed with a, a bunny rabbit. I don't know. Also, he's got the smoke detector in a, a junk pile. T-Mills, be careful, okay? Be careful, T-Mills. You need that smoke detector. Also, what may be the shiniest backsplash I've ever seen. I do apologize, uh, my ADD. It'll never stop. I will just always look at things in the background. A couple things I noticed here, okay? Meyer soap. Great soap. I have that soap. It's great soap. Looks like some sort of vitamins here, maybe a vitamin D supplement. Honestly, I haven't left the house too much lately because of my vision. I could use some vitamin D. ...friends and run within the same circle, but nobody can tell us why James ghosted Mariah. I think he was, I think he had his eyes elsewhere. Uh oh. Elsewhere on a specific person? Yes, there is a girl Annie uh -oh. at Cheesecake Factory who... Uh oh, hold on. He goes to Cheesecake Factory, makes a girl break up with her boyfriend, who also works at Cheesecake Factory, then ghosts her for a girl that possibly also works at Cheesecake Factory? Okay, there, I know that there are a lot of, the, look, I said that the menu is very big. There's a lot of variety at Cheesecake Factory. I did not mean variety in how many people this man would be with. He had interest in, but that was more so before. Mariah and him were more so exclusive. So James and Annie had something going on before Mariah. Uh oh. Yes, but I don't know if it ever. There's went Annie. Past speaking until after. And they and find her quick. Done. What do you, you know just type James in Annie? And Annie are dating right now. I know that he keeps posting things with her. Uh oh. Where? Where is he posting these things? <laughs> I follow him on Snap. On CheesecakeFactory.com. <laughs> I know he posted something of her. Uh oh, the you Snapchat. Have the Snapchat? Yeah. How does she and have it? Today. How did well, she? Oh, okay. It's from today. Now, what? Okay, hold on. I'm calling BS on this. I'm calling BS. What are the odds that the day they talk to this girl, that he, that he randomly posts a Snapchat with the girl that they're talking about? That seems a little too. Ironic. You see a little flag here? Okay, that's a little red flag because I think that's not the truth. But God bless him. Looks like a little sushi there. A little big ass cup of soy sauce. Thank you for sharing that information with us. You sound <laughs> yeah. like an NPC. AKA receipt. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. If you guys see that on TikTok right, cool. lately. Thank you, Jeff. Driving me nuts. Absolutely. Thanks We're for the hot dog. Else. Thanks for the rose. Okay, we will. Shut Have up. A great day. You as well. Travis, new theory here. Well, the and Christmas gifts okay, are out the window. James hooking up with other woman. No, James hooking up with the entire Cheesecake Factory. I think we got to text Mariah, tell her to hop back in here. And, you know, we got to ask her what she knows about Annie. Mm, this is the part Annie, are you the okay? Are you okay, Mariah. Annie? Hey, All right, Mariah is back. You? I like Mariah's hey, energy, you? though. She's, uh, she's very I'm sweet. Okay, good. Like the room we've been too. doing some digging, so I'm just gonna start from the beginning because we've had a full day. We hit up Jess, Deja, and Lizzie. After talking with Jess. Okay, hold up. Let's see some changes in the place. The vitamins have been moved for Pete's coffee. Pete's coffee is very good. I am alarmed to see what might have happened to the vitamins, but maybe he said, oh, I see, you know what? I see the bottle right next to it. So it looks like he needed a little bit more oomph for this episode of Ghosted. A little bit of coffee in there. He's also got a coffee strainer. So T-Mill's a coffee connoisseur. She mentioned something that blindsided Rachel. My favorite type of coffee is iced coffee from Dunkin' Donuts. Oh. Oh, she knows Annie. Annie. 
Yes, she um, does. I mean, Annie works with us too. She's uh -oh. kind of come along with our friend group sometimes, but I mean, I would classify her more as just like kind of like a coworker. What about her history with James? Um, I mean, I know that, you know, they've been friends, but I mean, as far as like a history, I really don't know. I don't think that they, I mean, I don't think that they have history. Um, I want to show you something. Uh oh, but that was posted on James's Snapchat yesterday. I blocked on Snapchat too. You can too. confirm that that's Annie in the photo, correct? Yeah, that's definitely her. We haven't been able to talk to James about this yet. We sent him a message. He saw the message. He, he hasn't responded. I'll try to stay positive. <laughs> Have a good day. You Bye. <laughs> It's like, thanks for the information. Bye. I'd be, yeah, she's definitely going to cry. I would be so sad. Like, imagine you find out information like that about a coworker once again, basically on television. I'd be like, oh, this is the worst. This is why you don't say yes to these things. I would just be like, you know what? I'd rather never know at this point. I'd rather just never know. I want to log into our Instagram. Okay, another outfit and change for T Mills. Oh, There's Jimmy. Sure. Call me. Good. All right. Good old I'm James. Call James. Right now. Here we go. Rachel going in for the for the hey, call. Hey James. Oh. Hello. Hey. Hey, who is it? Hi, this is Rachel and Travis. We sent you the message. We were contacted by Mariah. My ex girlfriend Mariah. Yes, uh -oh. your ex girlfriend Mariah, and she he let us very know excited. that you guys worked together and had been friends for a year before you started dating and then a year into your relationship we'll say uh t mill's shirt dating. here and kind of looks like it was either caught on fire or like he just got done working on a car your relationship you ghosted her basically so we just wanted to reach out to you and get your side of the story um i mean i i, I guess we could talk about it did some stuff that uh -oh. prefer not to really go into that. He right did now. some stuff. Okay. James, do you feel comfortable hopping on a call with, with Mariah later today? Um. No. <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah, I, can, I, I guess I could do that. Cool. Oh, so, that. I mean, if 4 p.m. works for you, we can send you a link and, and you can meet us on a call at, at, at 4 p.m. Yeah, that's that time. I'm not doing anything at all. Appreciate it. We'll talk to you later. Today. I ain't got no plans. Hold on. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Hey, you could definitely see his damn number there if you really do some investigative Scratch work. Ass. Nobody wants to call James, though. You know, no offense to James. Yo, he sounds like a super nice guy. Scratch every single theory. Very, very just respectful to like, hey, this see, is something that happened between me and Mariah. I don't feel comfortable kind of. I don't know. If I would say he seems like a very respectable guy yet, it was a one minute phone call, right? You know, you don't know too much off of somebody for talk. I mean, he obviously probably knows at that point that, that there's a show calling him. They're probably recording it. Like you're going to be on your best behavior. It's like sometimes I'll watch Super Nanny and, you know, you could tell that the, the, the father is just like, Putting on a, a like a mask a little bit just to be like, well, I'm on television and super nanny and I got to be on my best behavior. And then I always wonder what happens when the cameras aren't there or like, you know, things leave. So you just got to take all this with a grain of salt. I'm not telling everyone about it. Something that makes them uncomfortable to talk about. I think it's sexual. Uh oh, <laughs> where did that come from? <laughs> I think it's sexual. <laughs> okay. Comfortable to talk about. Rachel wearing about seven different necklaces. I think it's sexual. I would love if it Let's goes back Mariah to James didn't here. want to buy yeah. gifts. Yeah. I'm going to get James in here. I'm, I'm nervous for Mariah. Oh, she's here. I'm going to let her in. All right. Let's see here. What's up, Mariah? Hi. How you feeling? Um, my heart is beating like 1,000 miles per minute. <laughs> that is a, that is a heart, heart attack level. And tell you the reason why he ghosted you. He didn't feel comfortable telling Rachel and I. All he would say is that it was something you did. Oh, All right, no, man. Oh, no. ready to confront your ghost? <laughs> confront every I'm... time they say that it gets me ready to confront your ghost we have a reader here that's going to give us any signal that the ghost may admit 
And uh, if we catch it on camera, we're going to send it to Discovery Channel right away. We're going to give it to Joe Rogan. So, you know, hopefully we can uh, we can catch this sucker. I'm ready. All right, I'm going to let him in. Here comes James. James and Mariah. Is he coming? That's what she said. There he is. Wow. Up, very, very. James. Instead of James, we're going to just call him Chains. That is, you know, he was like, okay, hold on. Okay, now look, this is my necklace, right? Very, very modest, very relaxed. He said, no, no, no. I'm trying to make a statement, okay? I graduated from Cheesecake Factory, all right? I, I am my own factory. Those are some very, that is some bling right there. Let me tell you that much. What's going on? Uh, Rachel and I brought you both together today to hear each other out and I feel like it's it's first time they've spoken in like a closed. year here so Rachel and I are gonna turn off our video. So it's just you two in the room All right hmm. Well, hello What's up? What's up? I honestly what's don't up, even know where to start even before we were in a relationship we were friends and the conversations um, I like the lava lamp in the background. I have one as well. Right five there. in the morning talking about things that, you know, we wouldn't share with anybody else. So I guess it's just kind of confusing to me and I don't his bright really ass chains blinding the screen. Couldn't come and my damn talk eyes to me and, you know, maybe we could have found out a solution, but you chose to just disappear. Rachel communication by uh, new Mariah to me and I it looks like I don't know you were with Annie yesterday. I don't know. Uh oh, if, was that something that was you know happening during her relationship at this point i just have so many questions i mean i i totally feel you um i want to start by saying like i definitely do understand where you're coming from like i know it was kind of messed up on my end to just kind of cut things off part of the reason that this kind of ended the way that it did is because i was just kind of trying to i guess save save your you hardship and pain from you know the i don't know I don't know if somebody's saying I wanted to ghost you because I was trying t it was to help you. That's not a good sign, right? Like that's not a that's not a good sign if you're saying, yeah, look, I blocked you on everything and started dating somebody else just you know to make it easier on you. You know, I wanted to be there for you, and I did that by um, disabling any form of conversation possible. <laughs> that's probably not a great sign here. So it looks like James is. I'm going to guess was definitely cheating, but I could be wrong here. Okay. Reasons that I have for acting the way that I did. Sorry. You don't think that would have caused me more pain though? Exactly. Like not telling me anything. There we go. Very logical, I, Mariah. In, in hindsight, I, it probably did. I understand that now, like not giving you any reason and just kind of cutting you off out of nowhere when you thought everything was good. I will say it had nothing to do with me hanging out with Annie yesterday okay, okay. or anything Maybe like that. Like, what was it? Like, I'm confused. If these, it's so, not all these things. So the real reason that I actually ghosted you was that... <laughs> Here it is. Like, <laughs> yes, Travis. <laughs> I love it because I know they definitely produced this. Like, okay, Travis, get wide-eyed and type, fake type something. Because he's typing for like 20 seconds and then it's just here it is. I think that this is when they put the quiz up. Why did James go scared of her ex seeing someone else or something sexual? Who knows at this point? I so um here's the quiz we have to take, like we're in school. You constantly were just comparing our relationship to your exes. Okay. And then it eventually got to the point where you were comparing us to each other in the bedroom. Now huh? kind of what the hell? It could, Rachel might be right here. Something sexual. Is that it though? I really just drew the line and, and decided that, you know, obviously that I wasn't good enough for you. Wow. Was he was not laying it down like that, the ex did. Kind of the last straw. Uh, okay. Um, but I mean, I guess. Oh. You don't remember that? Not, not, I mean, no, like. You basically said that I didn't make you finish how your ex did. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. <laughs> Try to Moses like, oh shit. Well, I'll tell you what. That's definitely not the greatest thing to say to somebody that you're with, right? So if that's true, that's uh not the best, but like as a man, that is like the biggest, biggest punch in the mouth. Damn, Rachel was like, right. 
the most I was laughing thing at that. that a guy could hear. So from that standpoint, once I heard that, it, it was just kind of game over for me. And that's kind of what led me ultimately just cutting you off because I really had nothing left to say. Emails typing a mile a minute. Yeah, I mean, I guess I will, you know, take some, you know, responsibility. You know, I guess, you know, that really wasn't right. So he right wasn't me. cheating. So um, then, you know what? It, I'm sorry then, James. I apologize. Okay. I usually, I, I usually, I like to think I'm accurate on these things, but you know what? Hey. Um, maybe I'm wrong here. I guess it was kind of hard for me not to because, you know, a relationship is something that I want. I always, you know, I want to be in a relationship and therefore I wanted, you know, relationship type things, you know. I guess maybe I just didn't go about it the right way. Communication is important. Guys, we're going to give you guys a break. Obviously, you just both shared a lot. Let me just start off by saying my profession, my trade is a lawyer. Whoa, I didn't know that. And I was watching you talk and... I was like, you're not being matter of fact in oh. your reason as to why you ghosted. It seems like there's more to the story. I mean, I thought Annie was your girlfriend and she was pregnant. No. Okay, well, damn, Rachel not letting letting this go. Let's see here. There's actually more to it um, than just, you know, the comments. Okay, then I mean, why wouldn't you have said that? Look. This show drives me nuts sometimes, James. James, like, the real reason we that I ghosted you was this. And then she says, I don't know if I believe you. And he says, yeah, you're right. It was more than that. Okay. Then why don't you just, why don't you just say that? Okay. <laughs> I can tell you from a guy's perspective, if somebody said that to me, like, in the bedroom, I would be absolutely crushed. Yeah, it would. That I would do suck. think you owe it to her to be honest with the real reason that you ghosted. That's true. <laughs> I got, I got nervous there. I got a little bit of cold She feet. called him out okay. on the bluff. Okay. It's, it's a kind of a nerve wracking thing. I definitely agree. And I, I really do want to tell her, like I do, I, out of respect. I okay, do then what in the world's going on, on here, James? All right, what's up, guys? Um, I'm going to give James the floor, and Travis and I are going to back out for a second. Okay. So, Mariah, there's actually a little bit more to the story than I kind of put on. After talking with Rachel, I felt that it would be just best out of respect to come, come clean with everything. Yeah, you mean so, tell the truth? <laughs> All right, here we go. Another I reveal. I was actually cheating on you and seeing other girls. I fucking knew it. Okay. I was going <laughs> to... I feel bad for Mariah. I knew it. That just doesn't... Wait, he say other girls. Hold on. Okay, so I take my apology that I said to James. Okay, I'm going to grab it. Throw it in the trash, James. Okay, we are now getting rid of that apology to you, and I go back to saying... That you can't judge somebody based off a phone call because I knew something was up here. You don't just block somebody in text and on, on social media randomly. And if you're not feeling guilty about something or you did something, right? There's got to be a cause to the effect. The fact that he stopped talking to her one night, they were hanging out and cuddling. He probably felt super guilty, right? Then he quit his job. So what I'm guessing is he was probably hooking up with somebody at the Cheesecake Factory. It started to get, I'm going to say the girl was probably like, okay, then what are we doing? What are we? And then he, he was like, we are done. Boom, bye. And then said, boom, bye. It said, cheesecake, peace out. I'm going to the chain factory. I was actually cheating on you and seeing other girls and stepping out on you towards the end of our relationship. <laughs> oh, yeah, he was also cheating. So crazy. And I T Mills reacting like he just won the Super Bowl. <laughs> yes. Oh shoot, I shouldn't be reacting the like end of our relationship. <laughs> Maybe you don't act so excited, T Mills. So crazy. And I just I just wanted you to know that like there was actually like a solid reason why. So huh? that is crazy. Well Mariah, she was right. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Crazy. I I just think. Gosh, are you with Annie? Like he is, is a dirty dog. It's not. It's not Annie. Okay. There, uh oh, there's other girls. Okay, it ain't Annie from Cheesecake Factory. Is it somebody else from Cheesecake? Well, I'm, was my joke accurate? Too many. Maybe the menu is too big. Maybe the roster of women is too big. I don't want to name their names. <laughs> girls. I don't want to name their names because you you know them. So oh no. I'm gonna keep them under wraps. But and he was I hooking up at all the bakers. You deserve to know that it, you were not the only one towards the end of the relationship. Oh boy, James. I... James was hooking up with the entire restaurant. The cooks. James, is that is that why you quit your job? Yeah, they they do work 
at Cheesecake Factory. I knew it. And was that a convenience for you too? Like that is so. You know bad. the saying that you want your cake and eat it too. Well, guess what? That one actually. You know, I mean, cheesecake. You get it? Okay. Oh. Why? Like again, we were cool as friends. Like we were. I wanted, you know, to hook up with you because you're an attractive girl. So I kind of did what I needed to do. All right. He is such a dirty dog. This guy is such a piece of shit. Not only did she lose her boyfriend, she lost her friend infuriated. In order to kind of get... I like the poop emoji though, because the poop emoji is like, just like smiling like, hey. Yeah, no. I mean, this man, this man was going after the whole restaurant, man. He wanted all the service. I feel like it's such a typical guy thing. You are sitting there and gonna blame me for why you ghosted me. You know, and that's so childish. And I fell for it. He was it. gaslighting her for sure. I fell for it. That's, I literally must have stupid right across my forehead. I, I am sorry. I mean, are I didn't. You, are you what? Like, are you? I... Yeah, there's honestly at this point, there's really like, I'm shaking, like, you're so lucky that this confrontation is through Zoom right now. She's gonna like, beat his ass. Honestly, I don't have any final words. He said what he said, and there's really nothing, like, there's really nothing else. This is a good take. This is a good take. I do believe the best way to deal with something like this, where someone's saying they've been hooking up with multiple, multiple people while you're together, the best take is to go, right? Because, like, there's sometimes, if something like that is happening multiple multiple women and he's kind of saying it almost proud like you know look i wanted to hook up with you and this person and this person uh, it's probably going to continue right like there's something going on there that's just not going to end so even if he goes hey we can do you know I i've learned from this it's like bro there's a good chance that if if he made her break up with her boyfriend at the time he probably almost likes causing damage or doing this and like being taking control and you know what i'm saying like that might be one of his things so that's just not gonna work so the her approach of being like no nah, i heard everything i need to hear by that's the best thing you could do i hope that i hope that that's the case because it's just not gonna work out and even if you try to get back with somebody after that happens like the trust is gone you know it's gone like there's no trust You'll just be freaking out. Like if you're uh, Mariah, you're obviously going to be freaking out constantly thinking about it. You're going to be always thinking that they're doing something They're You're always going to expect to be blocked. You know, like that's the, that's what we know about relationships is like when the trust is gone, you can try to get it back. And in some instances you can over time and really working at things. But I would say 95% of the time, once that trust is just broken, you got you're pretty much done, right? I don't know if you guys agree, but like I'd say it's it's really tough, especially somebody with anxiety. Like I have anxiety. Like if I'm with somebody and then they say, you know, I was cheating on you, but I didn't mean it, and I won't do it again. Even if I say like, okay, yeah, we'll get back together. That's all I'll think about. If they say, hey, I'm going out, I'm just going. My brain's going to go right to that moment again. And even if they are honest and never do it again, I still deep down will probably never believe them, you know, and that's just never a good sign that for things to come. Travis, Rachel, I still respect you, but this is what I'm, this is what I'm left to deal with. So I'm over it. I, I just can't, I, I really cannot. She about to hang up. Yep. Boom. Hey, good. Honestly, that's good. never happened before. Good. I lost, friend, I lost a friend. I lost a friend. Oh, not the not not them doing the sad montage. This poor girl's been through enough. Now they're playing sad music. I lost a friend. I lost a friend. Lost my mind. I knew she was gonna snap. I think it's also. Well, she didn't with snap. The fact that you you made it seem like it was her fault. You're probably right. I I agree that that was probably, probably right. not a, a cool move on my part to do that. Yeah, I, I completely regret the conversation that I had with her. You know, I was hard on her. Wait a second. I hear, I hear a fake cry noise. Hard on her. Listen closely. Like the... Well, guess what? She's not crying here. Like, she's just scratching her nose. She's fine. She's not going like... He literally added a fake cry. Can you guys hear that? You know, I was hard on her. Trying to make it even more dramatic than this, they're like, okay, Mariah, you handled that well, and we're glad that you left the call. 
but you didn't give us any goddamn reactions. And this is MTV, okay? So that's what we need you to do, okay? I want you to record a video of you looking upset, okay? Looking down dramatic, okay? We want we want some tears, okay? We want you to win Oscars here. I'm sorry about that. I just really did want to come clean at first. I just kind of got cold feet. But you couldn't have just broken it off with her and been honest up front. She was, now she he has really T-Mills mad at him. I like what? He just said she was really hot. Broken it off with her and been honest up front. She was, she was really hot. And I liked looking up with her. Wow. James, James. Good luck getting somebody after this show aired, man. Like, can you imagine dating this dude and then you find out this exists and you watch the episode? I don't know what girl in the world would be like, yeah, no, this guy's great. But you literally carried it on for an entire year. I'll just say that I didn't have the best intentions going into the relationship, if that makes sense. Jesus. I get why she left the meeting because well, it just is honest, that but... much deeper. Like her friend, not just her boyfriend, her friend did this to her. I really, I mean. He don't care at all. I know I don't seem like a good person right now. I think I'm there you go, more shots. <laughs> more of the stairs. I do feel for Mariah though. She handled that well. I'm sorry. I'm done. Sorry, but he doesn't deserve my time anymore. Goodbye. Smart. T Mills though before that said, Mariah, I know you're hurting, but I think you need to come back and tell him how you feel, put him in his place, and then be done with it. See, I don't agree with that. I I think she already said what she had to say, and she left the call. I don't think she has to come back and berate him even more because. Well, I mean, she already said what she had to say. She said her piece. See, so I was right. They wanted her to. They wanted more reaction. And you know what? She's right. There you go, Rachel. Let him know. Right, bye, James. It's just like, all right, get out of here, James. You weirdo. Wow. I feel really bad for her because I can tell that she's hurting. You know, I. I mean, the one thing I am grateful for is that you were able to get it out of him and he, and he really did tell her the truth. Yeah, uh, Rachel, the lawyer, man. This, and, you know, maybe she did rekindle their friendship and he never let that out. If that, I don't know what we would have done. All we want is for people to tell the truth, right? And to give our haunted mm. some closure. <laughs> um, and I think she... <laughs> Sorry, I just coughed a lung up. Definitely. Oh my God. I had a French fry earlier. And there was a little piece of it stuck, and it's it's still there. And for some reason, that French fry <laughs> this lodge. <laughs> now I can just say I'm choked up, and if I start crying, I can use this in the thumbnail <laughs> and be like, "This episode made me emotional, <laughs> not clickbait." Uh, Alrighty. <laughs> Definitely got that today. I hope it makes her stronger, and I hope that she the dude staring that she on the right so much better. Yeah, yes, watch that episode. For sure. I feel like Justice I for Mariah. Why to calm down before Brian comes home? He's gonna be like, "Why are you so fired up?" Me too. It made me emotional. Okay, well, hell, man, good episode. Just a hey, justice for Mariah. James is a douche. All right, let's look at some comments. Love how he made her break up with her original boyfriend. Because it couldn't be a thing and then ended up cheating on her anyway. Boom. I already brought that up. Yes. Can you really blame the girl for believing the ghosting was her fault and then told on TV that she was being cheated on? That sucks. That's why I say, I would just say no to these things. Because even if you're trying to find something out, you're going to get hurt. Okay, but why did he hook up with the entire Cheesecake Factory? He took the whole factory. Okay? <laughs> he took the whole factory, man. I'm so tired of people thinking that just because someone has great looks, it means they won't get played. Bro, these comments are my brain, I think. I said that in the beginning of the episode. It's like, just because someone is good-looking doesn't mean that they can't get cheated on. I think it's a dumb narrative. He definitely didn't love her, that's for sure. He was pissed at her for saying he couldn't make her finish like his ex, yet he was full-on using her for her body. Wait, that's a good point. That's a good point. Okay, he was so upset that he was not... Uh, competing as well as the uh, ex did, but the entire time he was cheating on her. So he was, uh, it doesn't even matter. That's a, he just, he really just kind of made that up. Um, I know the Cheesecake Factory is known for their endless options, but damn, this man really took that. Literally, that's Joyce. <laughs> that's literally what I said. He took that menu and said, hey, I can apply this to 
a lot of things in my life. Well, James is a douchebag um, with some giant chains. And uh, hey, hopefully Mariah finds some love there um, that she deserves. And um, really got me choked up at the end of the episode. <laughs> All right. Let me do the wheel of shots. I actually think that there's one missing, so I might have to add. So, of course, I'm going to spin this wheel, and the one I'm going to pick is the one that's not there, and I'll just spin it again. All right, let's see who's getting a shout-out today. Also, if you're still here, please like the video if you haven't yet, and this would be a great time to comment something. It could literally just be something about James being a douche or, you know, how you feel about trust, you know, anything like that. I, I'm not trying to give you a talking point. I'm just saying if you want. All right, let's see who's getting a shout-out from the... This is not Ryan's Toy World. This is me, Ryan. Okay. All right, Blue. Let's see who's the shout out of the day. It is Desiree Cole. Thank you, Desiree, for leaving a comment on one of the videos. You are the shout out of the day. I hope you watched this far to see this. Um, I don't know if there's any uh, relation to J. Cole. You know, maybe you could be D. Cole, but uh, thank you so much for supporting the channel. Like I said, um, you know, all these things help the algorithm, and I might need it on this one. I'm not going to lie, because I haven't posted in like six days, seven days, and um, YouTube does not like that. They don't like when you're sick. YouTube does not like when you're sick. That's why it's important for people to have like a team, you know, editors and people that help them do things and upload and make thumbnails i my team is me and my and sammy who helps me with the clips there's no like there's nothing else this whole mod channel is just me when i have the energy and i just haven't had the energy and i'm gonna be honest i've been not not depressed but i've been pretty down about my health lately and uh it really affects me and makes me feel like i'm not funny and entertaining so you know when i read your guys comments and i just see the love like it do, it does like motivate me and help me and makes me feel like i'm doing something right and i gotta power through it and you know get past these weird times in my life where i feel like my vision is disappearing and it's a scary point in my life uh but i will get through it this too shall pass um thank you guys for the support i just wanted to let you know that's why i do this that's why i have this wheel and i write the names down like i do it to show you guys that like i really care about you as people you're not just like commenters to me you're like you're human beings you're my friends like you're people that are supporting me and allowing me to do this as my job you know i do this and i twitch stream if you don't follow me on twitch yet consider this a, a sign to follow me it's not ryan abe literally not ryan abe on twitch you can just search it up or the links in the description um you know you guys are like my family at this point i i i, I uh i don't mind blabbing now because it's the end of the video i know people sometimes get annoyed when i talk in the beginning but you know, I, I live in L.A., but I don't have any family here. Um, I grew up in Philadelphia and, and New Jersey. And, uh, yeah, I, some, you know, sometimes I get a little in my head. I get a little lonely. So when I get to see so many people on this channel just, like, rocking with me. And even I posted, like, about a week plus ago. And I was like, guys, I'm not feeling well. I'm sorry if I'm letting you down. I posted on the community tab. There are so many comments that are like, dude, just take your time. We're not going anywhere. And that, without getting emotional, because I probably will, reading that was so nice. I literally am getting emotional. That's crazy. It's so reassuring to see stuff like that. I'm a, I'm a cancer. I'm an emotional person. So it's been a rough couple weeks. I've just been going through it. You know, it's been kind of shit. <laughs> and to see you guys say, hey, take your time. We're not going anywhere. We'll watch whatever you post. That stuff, like, means way more than you will think and you will ever know and i mean that uh and i hope me almost crying again i'll just blame it on the fact that i was choking on a french fry earlier but just thank you for you know motivating me to just keep doing this because i you know there's certain days where i'm just not feeling great and you guys motivate me to just keep doing this to entertain because I need it just as much as you need it. I need this as a, as an escape to take myself out of some things sometimes, you know, when I'm going through some anxiety and some things. So, you know, I just hope these videos help you guys, whether it's just a thing that you have in the background and it's just a nice little thing, or if it helps you sleep or if it helps you do this, or if it makes you laugh, like, you know, um, that's the goal. So I'll stop blabbing. Um, make sure to comment so you can get up on this wheel. Like Desiree, once again, Desiree, thank you so much. 
Um, and um, I appreciate you guys. Once again, subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. Sometimes you don't even realize you're not subscribed. And uh, if you haven't given this video a like, hook it up. You know, we're almost 50 minutes into this video, so if you're still here, you know, I appreciate you so much. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys very soon on Ryan's Average VODs. You have a great rest of your day or night, and I'll talk to you guys very, very soon. I love you. Bye.